Hello, children of God. Have you ever made a mistake? I've made plenty of them, let me tell you. And sometimes they're easier to fix than others. But I recently made a mistake. I got this really cool activity book, which is fun and awesome, you know, just something to do if I get bored. But the mistake that I made was giving this to a three-year-old who decided that he needed to scribble scrabble all over my book. So now it has all of these strange markings and the entire book, in fact, is full of all these markings on the pages. And, and how am I supposed to write? There's markings everywhere else. Well, fortunately, this is a special kind of book that has a material that maybe I can get some of these marks off. But I'll give it a try. I don't know. I'm not sure if just a plain old napkin is going to work well enough. Let's try it. That does not seem to be helping very much. There's still markings scribbled all over my book. I think I need something more. I have an idea. I just so happen to have this handy dandy, fancy schmancy, whiteboard dry erase squirter getter offer. That's not exactly what it's called. I think it's just a cleaning fluid, whatever it is. But maybe that will help get some of these marks off that don't seem to come off on their own. Hmm. So if I just squirt this down, squirt, squirt, squirt. Now, hey, I think this might be working. Now if I wipe it, I do believe those markings are coming off. And, ta-da! It's like it never even happened. Now I have a nice, fresh, clean slate, and I can mark all over it. And if it gets messed up, I've got my special squirting fluid. I can just clean it right back off again. Well, that is pretty awesome because I don't know if just plain water, definitely not just a dry towel, would have done the trick. But with my chemical, whatever is in here, probably don't want to get it in your eyes or in your nose or in your mouth, but whatever it is in here gives me a clean slate and a fresh start and a new beginning. You know, this kind of reminds me of what happens when we make mistakes, whether they're small, like giving the wrong person an item, or big, like doing something that you know you shouldn't do, or not obeying your parents when they ask you to do something. Sometimes we, we make those mistakes. A lot of times we make those mistakes. And it takes more than just us to fix it. On our own, we can't really start fresh. We might try. We might resolve in our minds to do things differently, but it doesn't really work if we try and do it with just us. We need something more. We need someone else's help. Who do you think that might be? That's right. We need God's help. We need the blood of Jesus to take away those bad things that we do. You know, this kind of reminds me of baptism. Have you been baptized? Maybe you have, maybe not yet. Different people sometimes will do baptism in different ways, but what it represents to us, what it reminds us, is that we are washed clean of our sins. Now, in the Bible, in fact, even Jesus was baptized, which might seem strange because, of course, he never sinned. But through that, we see the example of baptism, and we also see that Jesus is God's son. At Jesus' baptism, God said, this is my son, listen to him. So we see that God, of course, loves Jesus, who is God. That's the confusing part, but that's another conversation. And God loves us. That when we are baptized, it's just water, it's a simple act, but it means so much more. It means that we are essentially dead to sin, that their sins are washed away, and we can start fresh. That it takes more than just us and our efforts. It takes plain water, but water that through God's help and the Holy Spirit can transform us, can change us, and make us something and someone new. Now, the true blessing of this also is that God will always be there to give us a fresh slate again, because even after our baptism, well, we still make mistakes. 
we still sin. Every day we do things that we shouldn't do or that we know that we probably don't want to do, but we make those mistakes again and again and again. But God will always, always forgive us. All we have to do is pray. We pray, we tell God what's happening. He knows what's on our heart and he's willing to give us grace to transform us and to wipe us clean and make us new again every single time. All, that's all it takes. We read our Bibles so we know what God wants us to do, but when we go astray, we can come back. We can always come back to God. It doesn't mean we should try to do bad things, but when they happen, we know that we can come back to God and make it better again, or that he will make it better again. We don't do that work. God does it for us. So baptism is a reminder that we are washed clean and made new, that we're transformed and have a new beginning and we can start all over again. And every day we can remember that too. Sometimes if we see water or if you're washing your hands, you can remember that. God washes me. God makes me clean and new again. I make mistakes. I sin. God forgives. God gives me another chance. God transforms me from the inside out and will always make me new. So listen for God, because he's always with us. He promises his presence and is always around us and always wants us to come to him and promises to make us new and clean. We can start all over again every day, even every moment. So why don't we pray and thank God for always giving us grace, second chances, and the opportunity to start fresh and new with him. Dear God, thank you for your grace. Thank you for making me new, for washing me clean, and always promising to take away my sin. Help me come to you when I do things I shouldn't. Thank you for being with me. In Jesus' name, amen. So hopefully, that will provide you with one other illustration of how God wipes us and washes us clean, makes us new, and helps us to start over again, even when we make mistake after mistake. As always, we do have new ideas for crafts and children's messages every week, so come back and tune in. Hopefully, it's a blessing to you and your ministry, wherever and with whomever that might be. Go make some disciples. Have a wonderful week. See you next time.